now. Incineroar. Ooh, interesting. I like this. Interesting, actually. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. All right, game number one. This is it. Pyro with his Incineroar. Can he face Spargo at this point? Franco for a spike. Yeah, he's going for it. And I'm going to let you guys know, Spargo is no stranger to Incineroar. He's had a couple of opportunities to fight SkyJ, I believe, unless I'm completely wrong in my uh, memory. But SkyJ being the best Incineroar the world has to offer, also for Mexico, by the way. I'm sure he's no stranger to it. Ooh, gets the, the uh, Lola and Whip. He sends Spargo off stage. No two frame, but good patience here. Another back air, no limit. This could be it. How is he going to get it? Enough pressure. That is just enough to get that first stock on Pyro's favor. Oh, wow. Okay, not a lot of damage. 35, but still very decent, especially considering how Incineroar is very quick to take stocks. Holding that ledge. Barely missing. On that all and whip. No Lariat. So that means that Spargo gets another opportunity to get a edge card. No spike yet. But finally, a backer allows him to take Pyro's first stock. Ooh, Lariat barely interrupted by an it, by also a, a slow-paced limit uh, cross slash rather, not limit. There you go, gets a revenge. That's scary. Gotta be careful, Lariat. That just misses his mark and allows Mar uh, Spargo to go in with aggression. Oh, that's uh, gonna be important. Gets the back throw. How is he gonna get the edge guard? Is he going even go? Is he even going to go for it? No, he's respecting. He's waiting for Spargo to make a decision and then react to it, which is extremely sensible. You don't want to overcommit against a competitor such as Spargo. No spike either. Ooh, barely catching him with a flattening hitbox. Gets, ooh, wow, just completely eating like Sparriña. That limit limb hazard that usually decapitates his opponents. Incineroar was not up for it. Yet again, the back air allows Spargo to get a small lead. And no frame trap here. Smash, up smash, not connecting. Even though Pyro is going crazy with them. You see a low long whip, not enough to take the stock, no rage. And also, he was sent to all the other, across the stage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, don't do it. Ooh, he was fishing for it. Oh my god, he still got it. Está loco, Spargo with a spike, great stuff. Allows him to take game number one over Pyro. I, I got to admit, Pyro played really well in this game number one. He recognizes the perfect opportunities and the, the, the instances in which he, um, he'll find himself in a tough spot and he's just ready to react to them. So far, it's looking great for Spargo. We're going into final destination. That means no platform, all fundies. This was Pyro's counter pick. Uh oh, maybe uh, maybe opting for a little bit of a a juggling scenario, which I mean it makes sense for Incineroar. But listen, Spargo doesn't care about that. Limit is up. How is he gonna use it? A limit blade beam, a recovery, a limit cross slash, a tech, a beautiful response from Pyro to remain alive after what could have been seen a certain death. Oof, gets that once again challenged on the Dialolan whip. Ooh, gets the revenge, gets a little bit of extra damage. Lariat to send Spargo off stage once again, but not quite enough to deal decisive damage. Pyro being dangerously close and caught with the limit blade beam in order to lose a first stock in this second game. What out gets the back throw. Gets the suplex to force Spargo off stage once again. Lariat to get another opportunity, but limit is on. <gasps> super scary, super risky, super rewarding for Spargo right now, who's sitting still in his first stock with limit. Blade beam gets used, and that, you gotta be careful here because this could mean a very good opportunity for Pyro to bring this game back, but still not being able to catch Spargo. That's gonna be, that's gonna take a toll on Pyro at this point, because he's taking too long to take this first stock. And remember, I do believe this is still a best of three. All right, he gets the RKO, I think. I'm not too familiar with our wrestling terms. Ooh, you're doing, ooh, another opportunity. You go to low, no jump, but still gets to get a little 
bit of extra damage. Spargo with the finishing touch there, the finishing blow at down here. That allows him to take not only the stage spike, but also a command 